Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. For months, almost a year actually, the refrain has sounded, Russia hacked the election. Russia colluded with Donald Trump. It was unprecedented behavior, treasonous, really. Heard that night after night on this show. We've been told we need a massive, semi-permanent investigation to expose all these crimes. We might even need to nullify a presidential election. Okay, so let's say that Russia did hack the election. What would that look like? A few thousand dollars spent on lame, ineffective Facebook ads? Probably not. Instead, it might look a lot like what was actually going on for years at the Podesta Group, the Democratic lobbying firm co-founded by Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta. According to a source we spoke to who worked there at the Podesta Group for years, the company received huge sums of money from a pro-Russia shell group in order to bolster Russia's interests in Washington, all without declaring itself the agent of foreign power, which it demonstrably was. Election hacking might also look like the infamous and fraudulent Trump dossier, which was compiled in 2016 and then released this past January by BuzzFeed as a laughably stupid news story. Much of the information in that dossier came from Russian sources with ties to the Kremlin. Who paid for this? Well, at one point, funding came from the Democratic National Committee, Hillary Clinton's campaign, possibly even the FBI. So let's say you were looking for a smoking gun in this Russia story, and many are looking for that smoking gun. We now have evidence that Democrats literally paid money for Russian intelligence, as well as proof that the top Democratic lobbying firm in Washington was getting rich by advancing Russian interests. Collusion? If that's not collusion, what is collusion? We put a lot of calls out today, and very few Democratic lawmakers were interested in talking about this at all. The rare exception was Brad Sherman of California, the honorable exception, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you. I'm right. here to talk about the tax bill. <laughs> the voted. tax bill. Well, unfortunately... I mean, this is a job-killing, deficit-exploding right. tax bill, which is the real story, the real vote in Congress. Uh-huh. Let, let me just cut you off. I know your, you can't your defend soliloquy, it. soliloquy, before you go, we don't have a tax bill. We have no idea what the details are. We have I'm the Trump-proposed 12-page no, document. We have literally nothing. We have a 12-page document, which is pretty the, long. And then Trump's. it'll get to the Senate, and it will become something completely different. So I would love to debate that because I think it's really interesting, and we may not even disagree on parts of it. But I want to ask you about the story that we have spent well, the last year talking about. can't defend the Trump about. tax proposal. Uh, this, is a which, very, this is clever, and I will have you on any day to talk about an actual tax no, bill. No, you won't. I've been yet. trying to get on your show Are to talk joking? about economics yes, again and again and again, and you only oh, have me on to talk me. about nonsense. Spare me. Nonsense. And then, really, the nonsense that the Democratic Party has hijacked the, the workings of Washington for the last year over this Trump story, or the Russia the story, Trump and for you to say... The Trump story is you've got no defense for Trump's impeachment. What the is man it? has committed high crimes and misdemeanors, and your only defense is, okay. well, Hillary this did is, too. Okay. You can't impeach a not, private citizen and say that's a reason not to impeach a president who's guilty of high crimes and misdemeanors. I, think, I am. I think you've jumped off the rails a little bit. Let me ask you some factual questions and see mm -hmm. how you do with those. You can put the bumper stickers away. What, what do you make of the fact that the Podesta Group, with a, whom I know you're personally familiar, was taking money from Russian interests to advance those interests in Washington? I'd like to take a look at it, but it's irrelevant to whether we should impeach Donald Trump. He is guilty of obstruction of justice. Okay. But you're trying so you're to not even going to engage on that question? I... What do you make of the fact that the Democratic National Committee, from whom I assume you take money, gave money to... The, the people who wrote the Trump dossier, whose information came from Kremlin-connected sources. Does that bother you? That they that use Russian dossier intelligence in the was course funded of this first and foremost by Trump's Republican opponents. Correct. There is, that is nothing correct. in that dossier. Whose names we don't know. Correct. There is nothing in that dossier that appears to be stolen information. What we have it's here. Inform well, first of all, you don't know that. And so, well, and look, know, I don't, don't know, know whether the there Genesis, are Martians so are landing the on the Genesis planet. Of that, but we know for a fact, because it's been conceded, mm -hmm. that that information, some of it, came from sources around Vladimir this Putin. This is a and document so, that had no effect until So that's your excuse? The so, so I'm just a simple no, no, question. No, no. Look, I'm not, I don't I'm need an excuse, is it okay because with you? whether, we, is it okay whether with we impeach the character of a private citizen is an irrelevancy. Whether we impeach a president who is guilty of obstruction of justice... 
Wait, but I'm talking, hold on, slow down. Okay, this talking, had no I'm effect on the election. I'm talking about the presidential election. Well, you don't know if it had an effect on the election or How not. How can you affect an election by a document that's released three months after the because election? Because the information, you know, the, the document was run in BuzzFeed. The information was, went to the Hillary Clinton campaign. And what, what and information this that was is, of absolutely no use. I'm Scurrilous a little bit rumors about I'm a the little, sex life of Donald okay, Trump I'm a little that bit, were not released. I'm a little bit surprised that you have spent the last year telling us mm -hmm. that Trump has colluded in some way with the Russian government and that he has committed, in effect, treason, which is basically what you've I don't been accuse arguing. him of treason. I accuse him of obstruction of justice. Take a look at obstruction Section 1512 of, of the Felony but Code. But you're not bothered by the fact. He's facts. committed obstruction of justice it's, three times. It's not the crime. It's the cover-up. Right. We learned that with Watergate, so, and we learned that now. And Richard Nixon not? could not have stayed in office. Richard Nixon? Richard Nixon could Look, not I'm have stayed. I'm asking you a really simple question about the news of today, which is, No, the are news you of today is this tax bill that's going to cost us millions of jobs. You don't know what's that's what happened. the tax bill. We do have the Trump tax proposal that you can't defend, but is the official and most significant economic document I released think, by the Trump administration I think, you know in what? 10 months. I, I think I'm, I'm, look, I'm searching back in my mental files to recall an example of greater disingenuousness than the one I'm witnessing now. You went bananas over the Donald Trump Jr. meeting. Oh, he met with a Russian. This is, you know, the end of times. I never we said have, that. Yes, You've got me confused with yes, another good-looking bald guy. No, I don't. You are the guy who did that. We, I'll get the tape. It was... It's the obstruction you of justice, and I've identified time telling us why it was so poisonous to American democracy for Trump or his campaign to have any contact with the Russians. No, my now we have evidence that the Democratic campaign is doing it. You've got me confused with some other good-looking bald don't. guy. I follow this for a living, but let me ask. You I again, follow this for a living too, time. and I know that this is the most significant economic document released by the Trump administration. You can't defend it, and you want to talk about okay. nonsense. I'm sorry. Let you me want ask to talk you, about why Hillary nonsense, Clinton is bad you, instead of why Donald Trump. You filed articles of impeachment for against obstruction no, of justice the day after that story about Trump's son broke. That's the that day was that a, you. Oh, that was look, just an accident. Okay, right. This is look. Look, I had I circulated those this. articles of impeachment a month before the date you identified. Okay, so let me ask you. Let me ask you a really. It was July 12. Let me ask you a simple question. Trump's connections to Russia, you have consistently argued, are a big deal. It's not a fake story. You're no, I have consistently argued that his obstruction of justice last February, May, and July are violations of Section 1512 of our felony code. Uh -huh. Obstruction of justice right. applies so whether there was do, collusion or it not. nothing to do. So your entire party has spent the last year telling us this is the most important thing that has ever happened. We now have evidence that the charges you are making against Trump apply to your own party and your own candidate, my and you're ignoring it, are and you're February, throwing this fit on May my set telling July. me, oh, it's not a big deal. February, Why do you want to talk about May the tax bill? and July, obstruction of justice three times, violation of Section You're not even, in, you know what, I, I honestly, it's hard for me to believe, given everything you've said in the last year that you're putting on this performance now. Why don't you just say, look, what Hillary did, her campaign paying for intelligence from the Russians. That was bad, but she's not president. Let's move on. You won't even say that. I don't know what Hillary did, except she Actually, did we do know. We do, what do you mean we don't know? We know exactly what she did. They admitted it this week. The they DNC, admitted that they paid for opposition research. Every campaign that came, well, of course they pays all do. for opposition that research. That comes from the Every, Russians? I, Every, this dossier came from the no, Russians. No, this dossier came from a research firm and a British individual. Really? And who was the British individual? Do you know? I believe his name is Mr. Steele. Yeah. And why was he hired? Because he was the head of the Russia desk at MI6. He was he a was Russian many, expert, many and the information things. was about Trump's ties to Russia. They got this information from the Russians, and they paid, in effect, Russian sources they for it. They paid a man to pre prepare a memo. Wait, does it bother you? Does that bother you at all? Not particularly. Does it, it no bother effect. you? Has the Podesta group ever lobbied you for anything? I believe they have. I believe they've also, uh, I believe you're also a friend of Tony. I'm not a friend well. of him, and he's never lobbied me. I'm not a sitting well, member you're, of Congress. Well, you're not a member you of Congress, are. yes. And I'm not a friend of Tony Podesta's, but does it bother you that Tony Podesta took money with Paul Manafort from the Russians to carry their water in Washington? Does it bother you that Paul Manafort was chair of Trump's campaign? Yes, it does. Well? Does it bother you that the Podesta firm was working on behalf of the Russians? I would like to, I, I'll... If it was true, it would bother well, it is, me. It is true. 
I mean, there's You're no, asserting it. A I'm lot of things are asserted I'm not, on this. No, no, I'm not asserting it. Okay. It is factually You're true saying that, that the, he failed to uh, file a foreign agent's report. You know, that that's, uh, I believe that to be true. What I know is true is that they took money from Russian interests to represent those interests here in Washington. Well, and I it think is not, by it is your not standards, a viola that's wrong. When you say Russian interests, if you mean private companies, that's different. No, I mean, a the, lot Russian, of companies. I mean the Russian government. I mean the Russian government. If this he was did it. Why well, don't you do want it. to talk about impeaching a president? And your answer is, hey, there's this lobbyist in because town. Because the any predicate good? for this impeachment is exactly no, the, the same predicate behavior. For the, you haven't that read you're my, my yes, articles. I have. Impeachment are only a page and a half, and you haven't bothered to read them. Actually, I have read them. Then you know. And I think they're even more justice. factuous now than I did before. Now that I know that there's no principle that undergirds them, that you're willing to what excuse anything the Democrats. Of justice do. is a crime. Yeah. It is a felony punishable by 20 years up to 20 years. Come back when you got a tax bill and you want to chat about it. The tax bill's been released and yeah. you can't defend it. Yeah, right.